Hey boys and girls, I'm here to read you a story. So story time with Mrs. Hannah. I thought we would choose Charlie Cook's favourite book. This book is by Julia Donaldson and the illustrator is Axel Scheffler. So let's have a look inside. Once upon a time, there was a boy called Charlie Cook who curled up in his cosy chair and read his favourite book. About a leaky pirate ship which very nearly sank and a pirate chief who got the blame and had to walk the plank. The chief swam to an island and went digging with his hook. And at last he found a treasure chest and in it was a book. About a girl called Goldilocks and three indignant bears who cried, who's had our porridge? And who's been sitting in our chairs? They went into the bedroom and Baby Bear said, Look! She's in my bed and what's more, she's got my favourite book. She's reading his book. About Sir Percy Pinkleton, a bold and fearless knight who told the dragon, Wait, I'm not quite ready for the fight. You must hear this one first. And then in his armour clanked and shook. As he read aloud a joke he'd found inside his favourite book. He's made the dragon, dragon laugh. Look, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> He's laughing. About Rowena Redalot, a very well-read frog who jumped upon a lily pad and jumped upon a log. They jumped into the library which stood beside the brook, that's a stream, and went, read it, read it, read it, and she jumped upon a book. It kind of sounds a bit like ribbit, but it's read it, that means she's read the book. It's a joke. <laughs> About an oak tree full of birds, each bird had built a nest and then they had a competition to decide which one was best. They chose an owl to judge it and the winner was a rook whose nest was lined with pages from his very favourite book. About a girl who saw a flying saucer in the sky. Some small green men were in it and they waved as they flew by. She tugged her mother's sleeve and said, Look, Mum, what I've seen. But Mum said, Shh, I'm trying to read my favourite magazine. About a wicked jewel thief who stole the king's best crown, but then got stuck behind some sheep, which slowed the car right down. The king dialed 999, and soon the cops had caught the crook and flung him in the prison, where he reads his favourite book. About a greedy crocodile who got fed up with fish and went on land to try to find some other kind of dish. He went into the bookshop and here and he there grew even greedier while reading on page 90 of a very large encyclopedia. That's a really big book about lots of different things. About the biggest birthday cake the world had ever seen. A team of royal cake makers had made it for the queen. The cake was so delicious 
that a famous spaceman took. A slice of it to Jupiter and he also took his book. About a ghost who glided around a castle every night, carrying her head and giving everyone a fright. It's a bit silly. She kept up until the morning, then she found a shady nook and put her head back on again to read her favourite book. About a cosy armchair and a boy called Charlie Cook. So these are all the characters in the book. Let me see if you can have a, give you a closer look so you can see them. I can see the pirate, the greedy crocodile. I can see the armor. I can see the three bears. I can also see the frog on the windowsill. Um, the little girl, Goldilocks is there. And the king has got his crown and the spaceman is there and even the crook that got thrown in prison is there so that's a story a real good rhyming story and it's got lots of little interesting bits inside oh and look at that lovely bookshelf with all those books and then the back of the book so we say the end bye bye everybody i hope you enjoyed listening to charlie charlie's Charlie Cook's favourite book. Mrs. Hannah couldn't get her words out then, got a bit muddly. Bye bye, everybody. I hope to see you all really soon. I hope you're enjoying my stories. Mrs. Hannah misses you all very much, but I hope you're enjoying the videos that I'm sending to you. Bye bye.